Hey guys, we are going to be working on practice sheet 35. So let's start with looking at number one. So whether you have the seventh grade formula chart or the eighth grade formula chart, we will still see area of a trapezoid. Okay, so guys, I'm not going to do this for you, but I am going to write the formula. This is, I cannot tell you, it's the most helpful thing to write that formula. Half at the bases times the height, okay? So we've been doing this for the last couple of weeks. If you have not turned in your practice sheet and you have not done this, then you need to do it. Okay, go back and, um, oh, there's a little hint, that's your height. Okay, um, you need to go back and look at one of the old practice sheets. So your job is, guys, plug the numbers in. So here are my bases and my height. Put those in, solve for that. Come over here, meters squared, okay? Number two, we've been working on that. Uh, we started working on that or reviewing it last week, so I'm going to let you do number two. And again, if you have questions, you can always email me if you're virtual, okay? Number three, volume of a triangular pyramid, okay? I made sure I named it for you, okay? So again, formula chart, volume. Volume helps me to check my formula chart. Guys, the ones that come to a point, which are pyramid and cone, that's one third, big B H. And then remember, guys, we do the five V method. I don't have enough room here, so I will put my fifth V over here, which will be my final answer, and I'll put inches cubed. Okay. So I am going to kind of walk you through this one. Okay. So. V1, write the formula, main formula. V2, replace big B with the shape of the base. How do I know what the shape of the base is? I know because it says it. It's a triangular pyramid, so triangle. So next year you'll do a lot of cones, so you would put circle, okay? I don't always put triangular instead of triangle. Okay, so triangle H, okay? This H is your altitude, your height right here. That one's, I'm going to just change the color. So I know this one is that, okay? So then one third. Guys, triangle, this tells me go back to my formula chart. Please, please, please go back to your formula chart. Don't guess. Triangle A equals half BH. Most of you know that. Half BH. And then we have another H. Okay. Our last step is to plug our numbers in. Okay. So remember this one third. I still have it, one third, half, I still have it, times, look here, here's my triangle, what are the numbers for my triangle, it's 3 and 10, I know that, I know I kind of covered it, but there's a right angle there, 10, 3 or 3, 10, it doesn't matter, and the height is 12, and I know this is going to work out nice, because I know I can take half of 10 when I'm solving the middle, and I know I can take a third of 12, okay? So your job, my suggestion, your job is to finish this. Do the inside first. Try to do it together. Half of 10, whatever that is, times 3. Put that in parentheses, okay? Then do a third of 12, which is 12 divided by 3, and multiply by this number, okay? One more time, half of 10, what that is, times 3, put it right here. Then do a third of 12, which is 12 divided by 3, whatever you get there, multiply those two. Okay? 
And let's look at the next one. Good problem. A shoebox holds a number of discs of the same size. There are five red, six white, and seven blue discs. You pick out a disc, record the color, and return it to the box. If you repeat this process 250 times, how many times can you expect to pick either a red or a white? So we're actually going to change this. This will, because we did this one last week, so I'm going to switch this. Everything is exactly the same. We're just going to make it easier. We're going to say, how many times will you get a blue? Okay. A blue disc. So by the time you see this paper, if you're in person, it's going to be changed. By the time you see this online, it will be changed. Okay. So this is the same problem as last week, but this time we want to figure out for a blue. So guys, remember expect is similar to predict. Predict tells me we're going to do a proportion. Okay. So think of blue. How many are blue? Seven, right? Seven out of how many? Five plus six is 11. 11 plus seven is 18. So I have seven out of 18. Maybe this is different than the other one. We'll just do it this way, okay? So we want to know how many times you expect to get a blue disc, okay? I still think it's an easier problem if we do it this way, okay? So we want to know, remember, 7 is blue, 18 is a total, right? 5 plus 6 plus 7 is 18. So we want to know out of 250 times. What I'm going to tell you is that this answer is going to be a decimal, and I want you to just round it to the ones, round it to the whole number. You don't have to write this, but round it to the ones place. Okay, last problem. I know we're at the end of the year and people still struggle with this, which is division 98 and 52 hundredths divided by 0 0.4. So 98.52 divided by 0 0.4, okay? So first of all, just as a reminder, we never want a decimal in the divisor, okay? So I always move it to the end. I moved it one place, so therefore I moved this one one place. I'm going to put a decimal there, okay? And then I divide like normal, okay? 4 into 9, 2, 8, and you keep going, okay? You divide this, okay? Okay? 